Module 5.2 The System Builder Preferences and Cold Trainers Welcome to Module 5.2 of your Proform Professional Training Course. In this module we will look at cold trainers in more detail and why they may not be cold. We will also take a look at the System Builder Preferences. Ok, so we're going to take a look at the cold trainer reports again and we touched on these in module 2.4 and explained briefly about using them in conjunction with the expected winners so we'll just, just quickly go over that again first so what we'll do is we'll look at trainers with runners today so we choose today's date and use trainers runners and that's automatically set the presentation to trainer and then on the horse 2 tab click on trainer cold list and then run the system and we'll sort by the runners column and this shows us that Scott Dixon has had 53 consecutive losers and an expected winners of 3.6 so he should have had 3.6 winners based on the prices but he's also had 7 placed horses so he's not necessarily out of form. The expected winners really needs to be above five before you could begin to say a trainer is really out of form. And if we sort by expected winners, we can see the top one is 4.26 winners expected and obviously zero winners from Matt Johnson, who's had 24 consecutive losers. And he's had three placed horses in that period. So when you're looking at the cold trainers list, you need to look at how many runners have actually had and what the expected winners were and how many play horses they've had too. One of the other things you can do with the cold trainers list is use these race type filters to filter out the form. So if we were to take out everything but turf and run this again this just shows us the cold trainers on turf so John Wainwright, for instance, has had 93 consecutive losers on turf. An expected win is a 3.26. And if we sort by expected wins, you can see the highest is still only 3.41. Let's do the same again for all weather. So this is the trainer cold list for all weather. And Alan Burry's had 115 consecutive or weather losers. Linda Jewell, 107. And if we do the same and have a look at chases. So this allows you to filter the cold list by individual or multiple race types. And also remember, we're currently only looking at trainers that had runners today. If we reset the filters so that we're looking at the entire database of trainers, set the presentation to trainer. Let's look at the cold list on the all weather. And run this through. And this is now looking at all trainers in the database, not just the ones that had runners today. And if we sort by number of runners again, then we have Trevor Wall has gone 145 runners on the all weather without a winner. And 4.5 expected winners. And if we sort by the expected winners, we've now got a few of them over 5. We turn all the race types back on, so we're just looking at trainers now. All trainers, entire cold list. And we'll sort by the runners again. And you got to remember this is going back through the entire database, so some of these trainers, this is maybe where they ended their training career, and they had um, no runners since these consecutive losers. But even even with something like this one, the top run, Dean Nolan, he's had 467 consecutive losers, yet the expected winners was only 4.53. 
if we sort by expected winners we can see the top one AT Murphy has had 161 consecutive losers and should have had 8.44 winners we could restrict the search to say just the last five years so that we only get more of just the current trainers and we'll sort by expected winners so Graham Smith has not had runners since about 2010 um, but if we look at the next one down TJ O'Mara he's had runners in this year and he's had 123 consecutive losers for a 5.49 expected winners we'll move on to looking at the system builder preferences now and these are on this tab in the system builder and these basically allow you to choose what fields you see when you drill down and by drill down we mean when you double click on a line of results in the system builder so when we double click TG O'Mara there's, a, there's some standard fields that are always shown and then the preferences allow you to choose what extra fields you want if we turn if we just right click initially and turn off all of these and then go back to the system results and double click TG O'Mara these are the basic fields that are returned on a drill down but there are plenty of others that you might want to see if you have the in running module you'll see these fields here if you if you've not subscribed to that then you won't have these first four fields but you can add in things like race name country favorite a number of runners in the race and the class of the race and then all sorts of, of other fields number of previous runs before the strike rate before that particular run last time out positions and class letters class numbers and so on and there's a big list and every time you click on one of the items on one side or the other they line up and if you wanted to select them all you could just right click and do select all but what you will see is if you've got them all selected and then you do a drill down the time it takes to retrieve the data significantly increases but now for every line of the full results you've got all of this additional data and another thing to remember is you can right click and export all of this really quickly to a comma separated file and it'll directly open in Excel if you have that installed on your computer so the trick is with the preferences to choose the fields that you want to see or if you're looking to export some data choose the fields that you want to export because you can use this as an export tool for instance let's say you wanted to look at the um, horses that had one last time out for instance over five furlongs at a particular course you could run that system builder query and then when you double click onto the drill down results you could add in the fields you want from the preferences and then use that to export data well that's it for module 5.2 training session the preferences allow you to output much more detail when drilling down into a system but if you don't need all the detail then only turn on what you need this will significantly speed up drilling down into results